Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the oil change on a 2014 Ford Transit. Now this would be similar up to the newer models and I think the previous model. Um, you're going to need to fill a, a 15 millimeter wrench and then um, probably some pliers for the filter. Very simple job, nothing too crazy or anything. Um, have the car jacked up. Um, I have ramps in my situation. So... Let's see for jacking up points. Um, jacking up points, you can jack it up from the subframe. This is the main frame. Um, right there, you can jack it up. Then you see where the little black beam is bolted on. You can either jack it up from right there to um, right next to it. You see how where it's bolted. Let me get that right there, that dark spot right there. So you would jack it up from right there. So um, that would be the subframe. And the same thing for the opposite side. You would jack it up from right there. The chassis. Not the, the, where the bar is connected to. You see where, that, where the bar is bolted. So you're gonna, you're gonna jack it up from right there. Then you can put your jack stands right under here. Um, our drain plugs right here. That's gonna be a 15 millimeter. And then we have our filter right here. We're gonna use some pliers to take that off. Um, like I said, it's a very simple job, nothing too crazy. So lefty loosey for the drain plug. waiting for that we're gonna go ahead and loosen up this filter again I'm gonna be using some channel lock pliers All right, so part number we're going to be using for the filter is 3614. Um, one thing I like to do, just so you can see this, I like to fill up the whole filter with oil. Now this will help with dry start. Now dry start will prematurely wear your motor faster than what it should. So if you can, then that would be the best thing. Now, next thing, we will, what we you should do I've seen this happen to a few techs before, is that you want to make sure that this is lubricated um, and you lubricate your O-ring with oil on your filter. Um, you can either clean up this area, uh, which I will do in my situation because I already lubricated my, um, my, uh, my oil filter O-ring. Now you need to make sure that your old O-ring doesn't stay on. If it does get stick on, there's not. it's supposed to be a chrome surface, nothing else. So alright, so now we're going to go ahead and put in our oil filter. Alright, so we got it. You basically keep spinning it till it stops. And then you're going to probably do... Maybe like, so if the, you can put a mark right here. So you want that mark to go about almost three quarter, about like 160 degrees. So not at full 180 degrees. So mark it from right here and then this will be 180. I mean, yeah, you could probably mark it to 180 degrees and then you'll be perfectly fine from there. That's just being on the safe side. Yeah, so we are ready to put on our drain plug. Then we'll just torque that about to about uh, I want to say about like 25 foot pounds. That's what I'll torque it down so you get a feel for it. Um, so that's what I did. Um, so now we're ready to fill up the car with oil. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and fill up our oil. So right here, I'm using 5W20, the weight that you should use for the vehicle. And I'm using full synthetic. Um, I would recommend you to use full synthetic, but it's up to you on how you wanna use your oil. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. Then after we're done filling it up, um, we're gonna go ahead and check our fluid level. So the first time you're gonna wipe it, that's not the one you're gonna wanna see. So the second time when we put it in, we're gonna pull it out and then we're gonna check our fluid level. So right here, you can see that you see oil right there. Oh, if you can see that, let me see if I can get that focused in. So right there, you see how there's oil all the way up here, but you need to make sure you see how this is all, the whole dipstick is full and how this one half, is halfway full. So right there, actually our fill mark is right exactly here. So right there. Now if we turn it around, one side is gonna be higher than the other. So you need to go by the side that it's at its lowest because as you're picking it up, um, sometimes you can be scraping against the block or something. Um, so let's check this out. So we'll check it again. So right there, there's our fill. And on the other side, you see how this one's lower? So we're right there. Um, so we just need to add one quart. So we're gonna add one quart right there. All right, so right here it looks way overfilled. But if we roll it over to the other side, oh, oops, hold on, let me clean this. Probably the oil is still draining down. All right, there we go. So now we're halfway at the halfway mark. So again, you're gonna look at both sides. So we just need to add half a quart more. Give it a few seconds. So right now, we're at the full mark. So now we can go ahead and start the car. We'll put back our dipstick. I'm just gonna add the little tiny remaining oil that I have, just barely any ounces. Then you're gonna put on your oil cap. Then you're gonna go in your vehicle, start the car. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go back in the car, start your car, and then we're gonna go ahead and let it idle for about maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And then after that, then we're gonna go ahead and turn off the car, check your dipstick level again, and then top off as needed. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future, and thanks for watching.